สบายดีพี่น้อง Hi fam welcome back to Sang's Kitchen as you can see in front of me I have a variety of mortar and pestles and in Lao we call them coke and sock so this is the coke and this is the sock and so reason why I have all these in front of you is because I'm going to show you if you're buying a new mortar and pestle how to make sure it is well prepared and seasoned Um, so that you can make the best Lao food when you're in your kitchen, and so it also makes sure that there's no dirt, there's no other stuff that's in there that you want to get all of that out before you start cooking with it. And lastly, how to maintain the quality of your coke and sock. Um, even for my family, we have a coke and sock that lasts for generations or decades that you pass on to your your family. And I hope that you can do the same. So before we get into it, let's talk about the different varieties and the reasonings, and also just the look and feel of each of these. And so the first one I want to show you is actually one of my favorites, and I just got it from Laos. Um, so this is a Lao coke and sock, and you can tell by the look and the design of it. Um, this is uh, made in Vientiane, and typically with Lao mortar and pestles, uh, what you'll see is that it has a very thin um, top area, and then as you head towards the base, it gets thicker. And then I love these just because it's it's very sturdy and also not too heavy, just because the top part is thin. Um, and it's also to know that when you're making different foods in here, most of the time the food is going to be on the bottom. That's why it's thicker. And so this is a Lao version. I love it. It's harder to find in the U.S., but when you do find it, make sure you grab it. Um, and then we have the wooden coke and sock, which is this is a little bit more fancier one that has. Actually, the area where you can hold on to it, and then the area right here where you're gonna smash. So now that was the Lao version, um, and then we have this mini one. So this one is also a Lao one. You can see it's just the baby version of this one, it has that swirly design around it, and then an even smaller one. So this is a really cute design, more, mostly for display or even to present like different jails types of Lao dips in there. It would, go really well in here um, and then this one this one is really cool um, the past few years and more of these have been coming out i believe this is made out of aluminum correct me if i'm wrong uh, but these are just more of a, a fun different type of coke and sock uh, it's it's harder to use but you can use it it just makes a lot of clanging I would okay. Well, it makes that noise. Um, you can also use it for meditation, and so just imagine that making papaya salad. It's gonna be a bit of a meditative papaya salad session. So there's that, and then this one is just a variation. I, I don't have the actual large wooden one, but there's a lot of large wooden ones that look like this. Um, this one's just another cute small mini version, uh, but yeah, there's also the the wooden version that you can get as well. And so, whatever one you have access to, this apply this demonstration applies to um, the ones that you'll be using. Um, but today, I'm going to be showing you one of my recent collections. Um, it's the bigger version, and I have not done anything with this yet. So you're all going to go through the process of preparing this, seasoning it, and making sure that it is taken care of, so that I can make papaya salad with this. So let's get started. Oh no, Galabao! This is why it's so hard to film sometimes because Galabao just loves playing with her toys. Okay. Anyways, all right. So here is the new modern pestle. Still has a plastic on there. So let's open this up first. How beautiful this is! So pretty. Ooh, a little, a little uneven evenness right here, which is fine. And then this. Ooh, look how pretty that is! Can you see it? The wavy designs there. Let's. Show you all the first step. So grab some warm water. You can see the soap. Warm water with a little soap. 
And let's just dunk this in first. Get it completely wet. And then we have this. We're gonna also just rinse that off. So you'll notice a lot of dust just because these collect dust when they're just sitting there and no one uses it. That's good. Check in there. Nice. So let's rinse this off. Okay, so here's some new water. And then we'll just go ahead and dunk a soapy. All right, and that was first step, just cleaning it and giving it a good rinse. Let's go to step two. So step two is gonna deal with sticky rice. So this is the sticky rice that's been um, sitting in room temperature water for the past hour. So it should be a little softer. And so what you're gonna do with this, oh, this is half a cup. Grab a regular towel and then the mortar and pestle. And let's start with two, two spoonfuls. You can have a little bit of the water, it's fine. And so the reason why we have sticky rice that's been soaked put in here is because um, one of the big uses is having sticky rice and grinding it up into a powder for different dishes. And so when it comes to like a lot more pestle, you wanna use what you are most commonly gonna be uh, grinding and using this for. And especially when it comes to white rice, you'll be able to see if there's any gunk around the walls, see what it, it brings out, okay? So I'm just gonna smash this. So the technique I'm doing is I'm swirling so the rice goes all around the surface area of the mortar and pestle, like this. And then I go to the sides and push down. So a quick fact, so in Lao, this is actually called kao bua. It's what we use to thicken our stews and soups, like gang no mite. So it actually looks pretty good, like pretty white. That means the the soap and rinsing um, did a good job at cleaning. But if for some reason your rice turns gray or a slightly discoloration, that means you got to do this a few more times. Oh, and I see one thing that came out and that's kind of what you want to not want to have in your food. Oh, you can see it. Where did it go? Um, black speck in there that you wanna, that's part of this process to get it all out, make sure that, that you're not eating that black speck. And we're just gonna rinse out the rest and then go to step three. So what you have is well rinse, clean um, mortar. And so this is good. You're just gonna put it to the side and let it dry. And so the next thing that's important, I'm gonna show you examples of what you don't want to happen. So this is your pestle, which is made out of wood, right? And so this is an older one that you can see it actually cracked right here. You see the crack right here, up all the way down there. This is what you don't want to happen. And in order to prevent this with my new one right here and make sure that it's dry, you're gonna add a little bit of mineral oil. I'm gonna link this mineral oil in the comments below. So if you want to use it, you're welcome to grab it. But usually any other mineral oil works. Uh, but typically think of this as a, especially for wood, for food preparation, you wanna put it on like your wooden cutting boards, your wooden um, pestles to help it maintain its structure and so that it doesn't dry out and crack like this. So what I'm gonna do is grab a paper towel. And just gonna, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to the paper towel. And then with my new pestle, just go ahead and put it all the way around it. Some common questions that might come up is that, oh, will this like make my papaya salad taste weird? Um, no, so this mineral oil has no odor, has no flavor. So essentially it just, this, the wood just soaks up the oil, as you can see the difference. Oiled, not oiled. 
and just helps it maintain its structure. And so again, a little bit goes a long way, maybe a little bit more to the bottom here to protect it. And so look at the, the big difference, right? Beautiful, it actually makes it look extra nice from the natural wood color, right? And then here is the dull one that cracked because it has no mineral oil on it. So put this probably, it depends on how often you use um, your mortar and pestle, but maybe once a month if you eat a lot of papaya salad because you'll be washing this off and so some of the mineral oil will come off. But yeah, that is how you, you coat your pestle with mineral oil to prevent the cracks. Look at that. Now it is beautifully ready to make papaya salad and all the types of jails you want. If you have any other questions, comment below and I'll try to answer them. Um, but if you want more videos like this, uh, there's another video if you click right above here on the different ingredients and equipments that I recommend when making Lao food. All right, so I will see you all another time. Bye.